Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I'm so excited for today's video because I have got a new Sephora haul for you guys. It is almost spring and I'm feeling the need for a little spring refresh with the makeup. And there are just a bunch of new products that I really wanted to try. They've been on my radar. You guys have been asking about them. So I wanted to give them a try for you today. I actually got my giant haul box of goodies in about a week and a half ago and I decided it would be better to like play around with them a little bit first so that I could give you my full thoughts on what I think of them and how they perform. So I've got most of the makeup on now. I also got a new hair product, got a new uh, face gadget that I've been wanting for a while and can't wait to dig into the box and show you everything. Wanted to say thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I love Sephora, love shopping there. They have such a huge variety of brands now. You can get things from their house brand Sephora that I love, that I've loved for years. It's a great spot for one-stop shopping. I love their insider program. I'm a Rouge member in that because of course I'm an influencer and I buy a ton of stuff there every year, but that gives me 20% off at their annual sales that they have twice a year. So that's awesome. I love the insider program because you accumulate points with every purchase and it's really easy to sign up and you can get such great samples with your points. I just wanted to show you the samples that I got this time. This order, I got a couple of foundations to try. One is the Huda Faux Filter Luminous Matte, and this one gives you five shades. Oops, it's upside down. This one gives you five shades to try, so that can put me in the right range if I decide I like it, and I'm gonna shade match it, and I can also try it for free, which is great. And then I got this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer to try. And this comes in four colors. So you can try a concealer for free, a foundation for free. Then they have like the points perks where you can trade in points for things. And I saw some things that I wanted to try. I got this JLo Beauty JLo Glow sample to try. Been dying to try that, but didn't really want to spend the money for the <laughs> JLo skincare, right? So it's all in this little baggie here. Um, one of the other things that I'm really excited about, 100 points for this. This is the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. You know my addiction to Orbe. So so anytime I can try a product of theirs for free, I'm all for that. I got this little milk blush stick. I'm actually wearing this today. This is so beautiful. And this is gonna be so perfect for travel and it's gonna be so perfect for the spring because it's like a highlighter and a blush all in one. And that was 100 points. I also used 500 points to donate to charity. I love this option that they have now. And I also got $10 off my order using more points. All right, so let's dig into the box. The first First thing that I wanted to tell you about is the thing that I am most excited about with this whole purchase, and it is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firmax No Filter Primer. I have seen this all over social media. It was sold out for a couple weeks, couldn't get my hands on it. So happy to see that it was back in stock. This is one of those skin treatments that you put it on and it like forms a film on the surface of your skin, and it helps to reduce the look of your wrinkles. It helps to reduce the look of your pores. It really makes your face look tightened and firmer, and so I want to see if this really would work and so I gave it a try and oh my gosh I was so surprised at how good this is this is really great this is like the thing that I've been looking for for so long you guys know that I use sunscreen every single day and that the sunscreen tends to be a little bit shiny on my skin which accentuates my enlarged pores and all the texture I have all around my face I've used it over three or four of my different sunscreens and it works perfectly over all of them. It really disguises my pores. Most of these things will give you like a white chalky finish to the skin and this one doesn't give you that white chalky finish. It's actually a tiny bit tinted so when you rub it in it doesn't go on looking chalky and that is amazing. You do need to take a little extra care when you're blending out the edges, but it just blends right in. It doesn't change your skin color. It doesn't make you look white and chalky, but yet it dries down to the most beautiful velvety matte finish. It does take like three to seven minutes to dry and you are supposed to stay fairly expressionless while you use it. All right, this has had the five minutes to dry and set up and oh my gosh, my pores have disappeared my eye bags, while they haven't completely disappeared, they are minimized from the way they were a minute ago. This is so good and I love it that I can put it right over my sunscreen. Check out the fronts of my cheeks, but look at my pores. Like, hello, where are they? <laughs> and it did a pretty good job on reducing the size and the look of my eye bags. 
on days when I just want to put on sunscreen and mattify it and go, ah, finally, this is what I've been looking for. But I've used it like five days in a row. It's not drying. Every one of these things that I've tried before felt super drying on my skin. And later in the day, it made my skin look super wrinkled and super crusty and just not good. So while I've you know, kind of like these things in the past. I could never actually wear them. Plus, once you put makeup on over them, the effect always goes away. And this one I found, you could actually put makeup on certain makeup. I did buy something for this video that I found didn't really work well with that, with this, and that is the Summer Friday Sheer Skin Tint. With this, it didn't really work so well. I think this was just a little bit too wet, so I'm gonna save this for another video. I did try this with my favorite foundation, the Dior Forever Matte, and it works perfectly with the Dior Forever Matte. I wore it out the other night with my daughter and her boyfriend, and I just felt like a million bucks with that combination on. Today, I used a powder foundation over it because I thought that might be kind of the best thing for it and this works beautifully over it. It just keeps the matte velvet perfection of my skin that look going and I really love that. So these two are a killer combo. Did I tell you what the name of this is? This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blurring Powder Foundation. I'm wearing it in the shade 27S Light Medium Sand. This is such a pretty little compact and it does have a sponge that comes with it, but I picked up a brush at Sephora. This is their foundation brush. This is a really nice brush. I think it was like $12. Great brush, really perfect for applying this. That looks really, really nice on the skin and it goes over the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firmex Primer so well. There's no polka dot pores. I didn't make the effect disappear, so really happy with it. My skin looks so perfected. Look at that. And look how perfect it looks on my skin. No enlarged pores, like hardly any wrinkles. It's not shiny. This combo is really just like a perfect combo and I've worn it a couple days. It wears really well. My only complaint about this is that I do get a little shiny in my T-zone later in the day. So if I am gonna wear this, I'll just take it with me so I can just top up. It's a really beautiful combo, but this product, if you have wrinkles in large pores, you know, if you're lacking firmness and you just want a little like to your face, definitely give this a try. Just switching away from makeup for a minute to another item that was a favorite in this order, and that is the Olaplex number 4D. This is their dry shampoo. This is a new release from Olaplex, and this is the best dry shampoo I have ever used, and I wanted to tell you about it because, you know, I've kind of struggled with dry shampoos over the years. They all go on my hair really white. You have to really rub it in very well, and I always feel like, even though they make my hair look good for like the first half of the day, the second half of the day, they almost make my hair look dirtier. Like, I don't know, it's just I've had this love-hate relationship with dry shampoo and I finally found one that I can love all day and even the next day, I still like how it looks in my hair. So, you know, you guys know that I work out and sometimes I'll wash my hair the day before and then on workout day, you know, my head's a little sweaty and I don't want to wash my hair again the very next day and so I just want to reach for a dry shampoo and spray it in and this has been so good and I really like the smell of this. It's a very mild fragrance so it's not like overpowering. This one just has a really nice very light floral fragrance makes your hair smell really really good and like I said it makes your hair look so clean all that day into the next day. I actually like kept respraying my hair with this for a few days straight and some of you may think this is disgusting, but went like five days between shampoos. And I think I did two workouts in there, but I kept waking up in the morning and my hair still looked good. And I was like, oh my gosh, my hair still looks great. Let me just spritz in a little more. And bam, didn't have to like futz with my hair so much during that week. So really enjoying this product. If you've never met a dry shampoo that you like, definitely give the Olaplex a try. I grabbed a new Dior Five Colors palette. I don't know if you guys remember how in love I was with the old Dior Five Colors palette, but then a few years ago, they reformulated them, they repackaged them, they got rid of all the old colorways and they brought in all new colors. And I did buy one then, but I didn't love it and I haven't used it a lot since. I think the formula was still as good, but I had gotten this one, Tutu, which is very purple. It's very pretty, but I just, I don't know, I just don't reach for it a lot. But I wanted to find a little bit more of a neutral colorway that I would wear more often. So I picked up a new one and this is in Cashmere 
and this is just the most beautiful palette. Look at the colors. I mean, they're so right up my alley. It's very neutral, but it does lean a little bit to the cool neutral side, which you know I love a cool neutral, and I love like a beautiful taupe metallic and this one has it so that is gorgeous just love that and i love it that there's also a couple of mattes in here so this mid-tone matte is in there and also this lower one this darker brown is also a matte just look at those three shades. I mean, those three alone, there's your eyeshadow look for the day. That is so beautiful. And look how beautiful they look on the eye. I mean, perfect, perfect colors. Absolutely no fallout with this palette. The eyeshadows themselves are so pigmented and so creamy and just blend like a dream. These Dior palettes are so, so beautiful. And I'm so glad that I picked up another one. So very happy with that and love the eyeshadow look that I have going on with it today. I also grabbed the new Say Sun Melt Bronzers. This, this one is in light bronze and it is like the perfect color for me. Have it on my, like my forehead, over here, sides of my nose, jawline. So easy to blend and so beautiful. The shade on this is beautiful, but it's not super dark. It's just the perfect, not too warm, not too cool, not too muddy looking bronzer. It's really beautiful. You know how I love my say slip tint. I think this will be a perfect addition when I'm wearing say slip tint. But today I used it right over powder foundation and it blended perfectly with the powder. You know, sometimes if you use creams with powder, they don't work so well. Everything blended so beautifully over this Tarte powder foundation. It's really more like a powder to cream foundation, but yet it doesn't feel like foundation. My face feels very dry and very matte. And I love that. And I know a lot of people out there don't like their face feeling like goopy all day. As I said before, I have on this little mini milk cheek and lip flush. Uh, this is so pretty and went over the foundation really well as well. Didn't remove it, blend it out really easily. And this has a nice sheen to it. So you don't even need to use highlighter over the top. I don't have a separate highlighter on just this. And it's so pretty. A couple other makeup things that I got that I'm really excited about. One is the Give by Gwen Stefani Can't Stop Staring Mascara. You guys, this is so good. And I think one of my favorite things about this is the wand. I love the shape of this wand. I love it that it has this little ball on the end and it's also kind of oblong with the teeth. So on the sides, the teeth are a little bit longer and then they're shorter on the two other sides. So you use the long teeth to start like raking through your lashes and it deposits the perfect amount of mascara. Then you can use the little ball to just go in and like get the corner, really like pull the corner out so that you get that really nice long outer corner look. I've worn this every day since my order came in. It doesn't flake, it doesn't chip, it doesn't smudge. It is so good. It's so the opposite of a mascara that I tried last week that smudged all over the place. And I love how my lashes look with this. It's giving me so much length, so much volume, and it's really easy to apply with this one. Then you guys know how I'm constantly on the hunt for the perfect eyeliner to replace the Marc Jacobs. So I tried these Danessa Myricks Infinite Chrome Eyeliners. They're like a micro pencil. They're super fine. And these are so fun and so cool because they're all like multi chromes. They're not just duochrome. They reflect like two or three different colors. They are so beautiful, but look how fine that is. I got the shade Bronzite and I also got the shade Amethyst because you know I'm always looking for a purple for under my eyes and this is gorgeous and I've been wearing these all week long too. They stay in the waterline, they don't smudge and they look beautiful. They're really nice and subtle. I mean, once you have them on your eye, I don't know if you're really gonna see the color shift that much, but they definitely shift colors in the most beautiful way. So I'm wearing amethyst on my lower waterline and I'm wearing bronzite on my upper waterline and I'm loving these too. And then I did pick up a new liquid eyeliner and I've never bought liquid liner in brown before, but I thought I would give it a try. This is Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. And you know how I am about liquid liner. The brush has to be super precise in order for me to get it on there with my aging eyes. 
and be able to see what I'm doing. And this, I got it on no problem. So easy. So I used this today on my upper water line, did a little wing with it. I really like the brown. I also grabbed this Lawless Forget the Filler lip gloss. This is in such a beautiful color. It's called Posy. And I just wanted something that would lighten up my lip look for spring. You know, usually I've got the lip liner and then the lipstick and then the gloss and it's three layers. and. That's a little labor intensive, so I was just looking for something that would be pretty and springy and also maybe a little plumping, and this is just gorgeous. So I've been using this like every day. Had to go get it out of my handbag to bring it up and show you in the video today because it's already been put in there because I just love putting it on on the fly. It has a really creamy texture. It feels a lot like a balm gloss. It's got a very glossy finish. It's just so pretty and I love this color for spring. So that one is gorgeous. Now you guys know how much I love my new face and you know, new faces come out with some updated devices. So they're discontinuing the old ones and I've been using my old new face for, I think it's eight years now, but you know, I already have the Trinity and mine still works. So I wanted to try one of the new ones, but I decided to get the mini because I wanted one for travel because I love my new face and I love what it does for me, but I just don't take it with me when I travel because it's got the charging cradle and all that stuff. So look at this little cutie and it comes in this cool pink color. I think it comes in three or four different colors and it's adorable. So I got this like mini plus petite starter kit that comes with the new face. It also comes with a brush for putting on the gel, one of the best things that they've ever included. And it also came with two different primers. So it came with their firming and brightening silk cream, which I wanted to try, I have never used. This one is way more expensive then the regular gel which is this guy it came with a bigger bottle of this this is the hydrating aqua gel so you get the two gels the brush and the little mini plus the charging cable so i charged this up i've been using it all week now they have an app that you can use with it that will have a lot of different treatments in there so if you just want to like lift your jawline there's one for that if you want to work around your eye area there's one for that and continue to step three right underneath that jawline slowly glide towards the back of the neck. Now to arch the brow to the hairline, glide until you hear that beat. And then at the end of the brow, gliding upward towards the hairline, glide until you hear that beat. Seeing that eyelid lift that I get every time I use my new face, it just never gets old. That's why I continue to use it. And I really love this little mini. I think it's so cute. It's so travel friendly. I can't wait to take it with me when I travel and I'll definitely be taking this smaller version of the gel as well. Or maybe even this little guy. I mean, this is so perfect for travel. This should last me like a week, right? This does have the exact same power as the bigger New Face Trinity. The only thing it doesn't have is the extra 25% boost button, which you know, I gotta get that one and try it eventually, but for now, I'm gonna go with this one. I think the Mini Plus Petite Package is a really great new face for beginners with new face because, you know, you really only need the Trinity if you're gonna buy the attachments that are gonna pop on and off. And then the last thing I bought was something I just needed a replenishment on, and that is my Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve. Oh, this is the best hand cream ever. Why can't I get it open? I really wanna put some on now keeps my hands looking so good and feeling so good and it keeps me from having, um, you know, peeling cuticles all winter and dry skin of my hands and I just love it. And mm, it's got such a fresh eucalyptus smell. It actually reminds me of like going to the spa. So I put it on every night before I go to bed and I have like my little, you know, take me away to the spa moment. I just love this so much. It is the best hand cream. If you're looking for a hand cream to keep like by your sink after you wash your hands or before you go to bed, definitely give this one a try. So that is it for today's Sephora haul. Thanks again, Sephora, for sponsoring the video and working with me on this one. I really enjoyed all the products that I got and I'm so happy with 99% of what I got in this haul. So that is awesome. So if you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. So take care everybody and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.